Hello everybody, this is Jury Duty Summons, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Terra Firmacraft into Minecraft using MultiMC. MultiMC is a really good tool and it has some really kind of neat features which makes installing mods very easy. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to have to download, download the appropriate mod pieces. And so if we look at the Terra Firmacraft website, which is terrafirmacraft.com slash download, we can pull up the, um, the requirements for this mod. So um, first thing we want to pay attention to is it says built using Forge 6.0.1.3.54. So take a look at that. Um, this mod gets updated somewhat regularly, so by the time you watch this video it might be different. So just pay attention to what version number it says there. And then we'll just make sure you download the mod. I suggest using the AdFly if you don't mind, but if you have a problem with the AdFly, there's an alternate link right there. Anyway, also look at the requirements. Um, it does require Forge Universal. So, but hold off on downloading that. There's something we don't. That's something we don't necessarily have to do. Although you will have to download the Player API here on this page. So make sure you download the Player API for the version of Minecraft we're going to be doing, which is 1.42. And you can see this is for 1.42. So as long as the version numbers match up on that, you're fine. And you're all set there. So we have I put all these into a particular folder on my desktop. It doesn't have to be on your desktop, but it does need to be somewhere that you can get to it easily. Let me pull it up right there. And uh, we'll put up multi-MC as well. Okay, perfect. So the first thing you want to do is create a new instance. You don't necessarily want to do this on an instance that already has some kind of mods on it. You need a fresh copy of Minecraft. So we'll create one here. I'll call this example land. That works. Where to go? There it is. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to play it for real quick, and then we'll that what that'll do is it'll download the game, so that way we have something to work from. Da -da -da. The currently available Minecraft right this second is one four four I believe one point four four, so that's not going to do. That's not what we need. We need one four two. So the way to do that is a right click, and then downgrade. Gives a list. This is using MC Nostalgia, and we found 1.42 right there. Just make sure whatever version you're using is appropriate for the version of the mod you're pulling up. By the time you read this, watch this video, it might be the current version, so um, you might not have to do that part. All right, so that is now downgraded. Let's play this real quick to see what happens, just to make sure. And there we go, 1.42. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to install the mods. So just right click, edit mods. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add MC Forge. This is why we didn't download it because this mod actually has, sorry, MC, uh, multi MC actually has MC Forge built into it. So it'll go out and download it for you. So let's find the list. What version did we need again? Let's pull up that website real quick to take a look. We need uh, 601. 354. Okay. So it's a little bit ways back here. Right there. 601354. Perfect. And so for Minecraft version 142. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Downloading. So there we go. Now it's on the list. What this does is that anything on this list will be loaded into your Minecraft game. We also need to install, sorry, not, not just into the game, but into the jar, the jar file. So um, there we go. Now let's pull up the player API. Everything in the player API is going into the jar, so we don't need to do anything to make that ready. We can just drag and drop it. The important part here is that Forge has to be installed first, and then API, the API listed second. So we're all set there. Under core mods, nothing. Under mod folder, we're going to add the TF Craft Universal. Just like that. And we're all done. So just hit close and let's see how it works. So FML. Ta -ta -da. There we go. Minecraft Forge loaded. So we're all set there. Hit mods. That'll show us what in mods have been installed. So coder pack, Forge. These are all parts of Forge. And then Terra Firmacraft. That installed perfectly as well. So there we go. That's all we have to do. 
And the great thing about doing it through MC Edit and through the mod tool is that later on, if you don't like the mods, you can add more. You can change the order they're, they're installed in. And what it does is it actually installs this every time you play. So when this changes, it changes it next time you open up the mod, uh, the game. So it's really helpful, very useful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I, I may not be able to help with every kind of question, but if I can, I will answer and let you know. All right. Have a great day, everybody, and uh, play safe.